Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Bjorn from Bjorn.com and welcome back to my channel where today is going to be a bit different where I'm going to, well, if I may, call it a new series. I want to talk about more on Facebook ads or meta ads or however you want to coin it. Um, it is something that I have been exploring a lot on recently and I've dove deep into it. So, and I realized this is a topic that some of, some of my uh, peers, students are interested to know more about and, you know, Hack it, right? I'm just gonna share maybe a quick. This is gonna be a quick video, regardless. I'm not gonna go in depth. I'm not gonna go show you guys data or whatnot. Again, this is a tip kind of video. So, uh, of course, if you guys want me to dive deeper into it, I'll probably work something. I'll definitely work something. Out, excuse me, but in there will be something for the near future. Not right now, but right now, I just wanna share you guys some uh, of my knowledge, my uh, experience running Facebook ads, and yeah, hopefully it helps, right? So. Today, as you guys can see from the either from the thumbnail or the headline, right? I talk about the ad strategy breakdown. So, this theoretically it is not uh, just for Facebook ads. I I believe it is also for YouTube ads, Google ads, uh, and ads in general, right? It is the strategy breakdown. So, uh, but let's focus on Facebook because I'm talking about Facebook today. So, primarily, right? Primarily. You wanna have three points, three objectives. If I, if I may, three main objectives when you guys run ads. But let's talk about again Facebook. So this strategy, right? This ad strategy when you guys are cropping out your copywriting, your image, video, headline, targeting, especially targeting. But let's talk about that in a separate videos. Or I believe I already talked about it in one of my videos. But that's besides the point. Three objectives, the objective, excuse me, that you want to achieve is number one is you want your audience to be able to relate to you. Relatability. If your audience can see your content and say, oh, I understand what this advertiser is saying, it reached the first point. So imagine this, right? When you when you stumble upon your first webinar or the several webinars that you have attended because you want to find out more information. Or any ads they have clicked on even this video they have clicked on right why did you click on that webinar or the ad because you're curious so if you backtrack a little bit why are you curious because you can somewhat relate to it either curiosity that fuels the uh, click or if you are just uh, maybe if you're bored but that's unlikely I, I'll, I'll push towards the curiosity factor or if you're bored right either way deep down you are able to relate to the advertiser hence you gave that click to find out more information and you may even have followed through and bought the the, the program or product that is from the webinar there's a high chance of that right so number one is regardless of, regardless of any ads that you guys want to run it's going to be more on how you can make your audience relate to whatever you are showing them that's number one relatability okay so number two is you want to walk them through a journey now different advertisers different marketers agencies whatever you want to call it they have different strategies uh, when it comes to this but in my opinion i like to write a story i like to tell and paint a story for my audience so once you you craft something that is inherently relatable next you want to talk about something that they can truly understand step by step and that could be you painting out a full story like hey have you been uh cheated before in your online business does it go like this guru a shows you his lamborghini then he shows you his luxury uh luxury life expensive food expensive travel and he asks you to buy something at the very end see this is like a user journey of an ad so you want to break a stereotypical norm that you capture your, atten uh, your audience attention so you pin them on story and you in in a way you force them to revisit the journey so that they like oh you double down basically that's, that's what i'm trying to say you are, you are double downing on the user's experience and the user's relatability to the ad that you are showing them you double down on it and they're like oh yeah you know whatever uh this advertiser is showing is saying makes tons of sense because that's exactly what other people have been doing and all has done and the last factor that I always hit home with 
before the call to action. Of course, you always have to have a call to action at the very end. If you do not, please revisit all your campaigns because that is very, very important. But before we even insert a call to action, the last objective, right? The third objective that you want to hit home with is the pain points, right? You want to be able to associate the pain points that your users, or rather, excuse me, your audience is experiencing. Have they been burned before? So if you go back to our, to what I just showed you guys, right? The Guru A, luxury lifestyle, make tons of money, everything else, right? And he said, join me. So for your copy, say, for your, so for your copy, right? Once you run them through the journey, you get add in like a statement like, have that, has that ever truly worked for you? Yeah, you want them to associate the pain point because it hasn't worked. Therefore, or rather, there's a good chance that it didn't work. Therefore, they are watching your video, or maybe you are, or it, or your post. That is why you want to capture their attention, right? You want to grab the target audience as well. Has that ever worked for you? And if they can associate with a pain point, they be like, oh damn, yeah, man. Uh, whatever this advertiser is saying is showing makes tons of sense, right? It doesn't. It, you know, it's exactly like what he have, he or she have mentioned. And it doesn't work for me. I understand. I relate to that. I I understand the pain. I felt it. I want to check out what he or she is pitching or showing. Right. So the strategy, as I mentioned right now, is it is not really exclusive to Facebook ads per se, but generally, for in my opinion, for all ads, Google, Bing, YouTube, Facebook, they will go through this uh, user journey type of ads, and that's one of my most favorite type of ads to write because I like to craft a story, I like to paint a story for my audience, to my intended audience at the very least, and let them know and let them really experience that, hey, you know, this is what's happening. So a quick recap of these three objectives that you wanna hit is number one, you wanna make them be able to relate to your story. And how do you make them relate to your story? Is by crafting out a journey. Example, Guru A, expensive lifestyle, Lamborghinis, I don't know, uh, bungalows, condominiums, expensive food, traveling. Then the third objective is to associate the pain points by saying, has that ever worked for you? Has it truly lived up to their promises? Or are you just fueling their expensive lifestyle? You check in on them, you insert that, you plant the seed in them. So when they come into a webinar or whatever uh, a call to action you may have, that seed has been planted, they are coming in with a deeper objective to find out more and more likely to follow through with whatever you're pitching to them. So these are just the three main objectives that I believe that I like to write as well as an uh, advertiser and I think this is something that you guys uh, could make full use of if you guys uh, are not aware of, right? So that is all for this video, I appreciate your time watching this video. If you guys have any suggestions, comments, on how I should run this uh, series or if you guys want to know more about Facebook ad stuff which I'm gonna upload more videos talk, talking about it based on my experience uh, recently and of course if you guys want to see something more in-depth or whatever it is let me know right let me know I I, I would love to just share more of such content with you guys and yeah man uh, I'll be sure to like share and subscribe if you guys enjoy this content check out my other videos from my content as I share daily videos tips tutorials motivation interviews the list goes on Check them out as well, and I'll appreciate your interaction. Okay, so otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll speak to you guys in my next one. Cheers.